Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning and welcome back to fishing. So it's crack of dawn right now, just about uh, 6.20 in the morning, mid, mid late-ish November, I guess, mid-November. Uh, it is cold. We're reading 32 degrees out right now, so hence the winter hat, and you'll be seeing a lot more of that uh, in the coming sessions, I'm sure. Uh, but just like the last video I probably posted, this very well might be my last saltwater trip, which is basically what I'm saying every time I go out now. I just don't know. Uh, but last week we did pretty well getting a lot of tog, unfortunately no keepers. Uh, but I'm confident there's got to be something still around. Um, that bite was so hot and it didn't get so much colder this past week than the week before. But I don't know. Uh, so we're going to be in pretty much the same area as the last session. But we're going to start deeper if possible if there's no one else around. And hopefully... Uh, that will help us get down to where we want to get to and hopefully we'll get some keepers One last push to bring some meat home and if it's really good Maybe I'll even go again tomorrow. I haven't decided if I'm gonna to go tomorrow and for what uh, But hopefully this works out It's something that you want to see uh, So hit that like button subscribe while you're here if you can if you aren't sure yet check out the video Maybe it'll turn you around and for those of you that already have and have been returning Thank you as always so stay tuned because you know what we're about to do get some fishing accomplished. Come on. Got him. That didn't take too long. Feels decent. And we're hitting the dock. It's good fish. Whoa, jeez, good fish. Might be a bass. No, damn it. All right. All right, well, we just lost a toad. I don't know that that was a tog. If it was, I can't see any world where that wasn't a legal fish, but uh, yeah, we'll never know. It snapped us off, so hopefully that fish wasn't alone. I mean, it might have been a striped bass. I mean, it really felt like it was big, but there could be some very large tog here as well, so. Let's see if we can make up for it. Uh, I'm hoping this isn't the day where I lost that fish and nothing else. Uh, but that was our first bite and hookup of the day, so a lot could still happen. Well, I thought I was just recording, it, but apparently I wasn't, but I just got a nice little striped bass, like a 28 incher. So that ends the, the mystery of what I lost. Uh, let's see if we can actually get one on camera now. Cause that's pretty crummy. Uh, but yeah, let's get back down there. Oh, I can't believe I wasn't just shooting then. At least I don't think I was, but uh, at least we ended the mystery. Like, that first fish definitely was a striped bass. Might have been bigger than that one, I don't know. And it's probably what I hooked up at the end of the last session on when I was here, because it felt exactly the same. Like, very subtle bite, and then all of a sudden it's on there and started running once uh, it was on there for a moment. So let's see if we can actually get a full catch on film. Or a blackfish, that'll be cool too. A bite. Got him. That's another striper, probably. Maybe a blackfish. Not as big, but it's running like a striper. This might be the target species. And he's picking up weight. Another striper. They're down there thick. Not as big as the one we just let go, but fun sized nonetheless. Cool. Yeah. Take you. It's a skinny one, but a nice 26 incher. Right, another near slot size striper. Be awesome if we got into a cow today, but I'm not holding my breath on that. Well, let's get some more crab down there and see what we can do. There we go. That's another bass. Oh, 
know if we're gonna get through to the tog today with this kind of arrangement. Is a ton of fun. Okay, just got another smaller striped bass. Don't really care, a lot of fun. If this is all we catch today, we're having a good time, but uh, maybe when the tide gets a little higher and it gets a little calmer, less rippage, we'll do better with the tog. But for now, I'm happy to catch these guys. They're a lot of fun. Let's see if there's any cows down there. Might be a tog. Hard to say. It's good, whatever it is, but the tog. The striper, it's just meh. There he goes. Now he knows he's hooked. Now he knows he's hooked. Oh boy. He's. Oh my god. It's like he didn't even know. Like he didn't even know. Oh, it's not crash. Jeez. That's a good one. A better one at least. It's better than the last couple. That's another slot. If I had to guess, close to it. Much healthier looking. Gotcha, buddy. Don't worry. That won't be slot level. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Not what I was expecting. Whew. Cool. All right, just got another slot, a round slot size fish, a real healthy one, maybe a little bit under, but a blast to catch. Have to think there's some tog still around. I mean, the water hasn't dropped down that much, but uh, you know, we had some warm days this week and last night was pretty cool. So maybe just it's that extra degree, I don't know. Check out other spots too. But uh, let's, this is fun. I'm gonna keep this up. Let's see if we can get another, another couple of stripers or tog or whatever. As long as we're catching fish, we're happy, and they're not sea robins. The striped bass kind of day. Let's see if uh, actually targeting them makes a big difference. Looks like there's some life under there, chasing some bait. Got him. Knew it. Knew this would work. Stripers all over the place. This is gonna be a strike bass day. That did not take long. The Elias shot, of course. <sighs> Come on. Cool. First drop. 
see what else we can get. Find a little change of scenery. Well, I'm happy to catch striped bass. Ultimately, I'm here to try and catch togs. So let's go a little shallower. Maybe the visibility is an issue. I don't know. Or the tide. But we'll mark some life just over here. It might be stripers. So it's win win. Current is moving though. So it's going to be hard to hold bottom. There's definitely stripers all over the place though. We're marking a bunch under the boat. We're getting little bites here, and they definitely feel like tog, but they just will not take it. So I'll give it like one more try, and then we're gonna move even a little shallower than this. I'm gonna move all over until we find these fish. That's better. Oh no! Oh, you took it. It's still down there though. Got him! No! Oh my God! That's over two. Come on, Dan. Got him. That's probably a tog, so that's good. Yes, still some tog around. That's all we wanted to see. That's all we wanted to know. Good sign. This isn't all futile. They finally, finally got a tog. Let's see if he's got some buddies hanging out there. If there's one, there should be more. But maybe not, I don't know. Oh yeah, we're being bit already. That's better. Not much, but it's better than the last one. Or just this twin, or potentially even the same exact fish, who knows. Okay, just got a, another tog. Not a big one, but it's good to see they're around. And if those little guys uh, keep biting and feeding, maybe they'll track some, some of their, uh, their elders, let's just say. Some akin to uh, go in the cooler bag if you catch my drift, as we drift. Another little one. I you know, like carbon copies, made me the same fish, I don't know. Pretty. A little better. Not much, though. That's a better fish, but I don't know if that's a blackfish. best blackfish. I'm just trying not to smack into this piling. Come on. Uh, I don't think you're worth the measure, but def definitely more what we want to see. Hope I'm good. All right, we're in a healthy bite now. That's a good thing. Starting to look almost hopeless. And I have a feeling once the sun rises a bit, that other spot where we were last time will be better. But let's just stay shallow because this is where the fish are. And we don't leave fish to catch fish. Maybe. I don't think so.
Oh, that's not bad. Maybe. That's the biggest one I've gotten in a while. I'll give him a measure, but probably not. Maybe. It's gonna be close. It's probably like a 15 incher. Oh, why? Come on. 15 and a half. No es bueno. I mean, bueno, but not for dinner. Our best of the tog of the day, 15 and a half inches. So we're getting closer. Just push along. Let's get that 16 plus. It's got to be one. Said that all last time, but really, there's got to be at least one. And it's not like Highlander. It's not like there can only be one. There's got to be at least one, and hopefully more. So let's even up the score. Little. Really more like I wish, but not happening. As much as you probably are delicious. But not big. So that bite lasted for about an hour and it was pretty hot. Uh, the only issue was that all those fish were short. But anyways, uh, right as that bite died out, my friend Eric, who you maybe have seen in other videos, uh, he stopped by and we decided to check out some deeper water since the shallow bite just disappeared. And we weren't faring too much better, but then something unexpected happened. So let's check that out. I'm definitely holding better here than I was. Oh, I'm getting bit. Yeah, yeah, good fish, good fish, be a blackfish, come on, be a blackfish, this is a tog, it's a monster, might be a bass though, be a tog, oh, oh my god, this is a monster, dude, this is like, if this is a tog, it's like a 10, set. let's say 5 pounder, I'm lowballing it because the current. Dude, this is a big fish, dude. It's a, it might be a bass, though. I don't know, but it's not pulling you out. Yeah. Dig it down. Oh, oh. Dude, this is a PB if it's a black fish every day of the week. Oh. Dude. This will make the day if it's a black fish. If it's a striper, I don't even care, but still. I need to see it. If it gets off, fine. Break my ride. I just need to see this fish. But I mean, if it's a bass, all this is going to get edited out. But if this is a tog, I... oh, it's a light setup, too. It's a bass. It's a big bass, though. Holy. It's a big bass. It's like a third. Uh, you're not going to net him with that. <laughs> it's like a. 15 pounder. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love watching, like, Dude, it's a big fish. He just see him? Yeah, no, I don't see him, but I, I see him. <laughs> Dude. Wow, he's like too. Dude, yeah, he's not going out, he's going down. Oh, this, this alone. You see him right there? Oh. oh man, this is like an easy 15. Jeez. Yeah, he's not it's not a cow, but he's big. I mean for me. I don't do a lot of striper fishing. Are you gonna, oh yeah. Are you gonna lift him? Yeah, I'll try him. Unless you got grippers. You don't got grippers? Somewhere back there I do. There he is. Let's say pushing 15. 
want me to pass to you or you want me to grip you? You got him if you got him. <sighs> yeah, that was the exact same grippers I got. <laughs> wow, boy. No! <gasps> it's all right. You got... Whatever. That was a that was a leader grab. He's it's fine. <laughs> it's like he was a true cow. He was hooked right here too. Yeah. That was a nice hook set. Yeah, that's cool. It's like a 15 pounder thereabouts. I think that was like a 20 pounder. Yeah, he was, he was. He was like this. Yeah, he was solid. Whatever, man. It's cool. I wasn't no, ready for. Cool. I wasn't ready for striper fishing today. <laughs> had his body. Had his body. Yeah. He had me going though. I was like, this is a black fish. Oh, that was a monster. Got him. Yo! Yo! Get out of there. Oh, we're not getting this fish. It's rubbing up on something. Damn it! Ah, uh, I mean, I got some big just jigs that I use for like casting like Elias shads. Like I can just throw like a whole crab on there and see what happens. They're two ounces. I got one of these. I wasn't. I was thinking about throwing this. Yeah. Let it hit the bottom. And yeah. Jig around. Hold it. Got the touch today, Eric. Got the touch. <laughs> Holy crap, I saw him take it too. Get in there, man. You're next. Hold well, on, I'm waiting for you first. Gotta get him out of these pilings. Yeah, I saw him. I don't think he's as big as that other one, but I don't want to be sideways up this current. <sighs> this one's not even in the same league as the last two, but whatever. We're not even considering it might be a blackfish. I don't think he is. <laughs> yeah, definitely a, a bass. All right, now he's waking up a little. <sighs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah, I know. We're about, nah, he's not even. I mean, he's a slot fish, but he's nothing like that one that snapped off, both of them. It's like a 28, 30 inch, 28 inch here. Barely hooked too. All right. Cool. Let's do a quick shot. Just in case that other one turned out like crap earlier. Not as big as that one we lost, but. Fun. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Yo. No. There he is. That's 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 a tog. Better than some. Yeah, you're you show up and I start catching fish. I just don't want to get off the spot. Yeah, it's a healthy one, healthy hen. Yeah, it's a pretty 
But this is like what I was catching, just only fish like this here. Like they're all, like this thing is thick. Like look at that thing. Yeah, right here. Let's build a bite right here. Long haul up for this little munchkin. Cool colors. I love when they have like these kind of weird splotches. Some pretty ones. Yeah, even when they're small. All right, so that ends another fishing session. Winding down the, the saltwater year. I might have one or two more sessions left in me for saltwater, but uh, good time. No keeper fish for uh, blackfish that was, but got in some nice stripers. Had that one right up to the bow. It's a good time, good size one. Uh, probably 15 to 20 pounds thereabouts. And then all those other smaller guys, good time. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching as always. Definitely more stuff to come soon. I might even give this another shot tomorrow. We'll see how I feel. Uh, but catching the water later, of course. Goodbye from fishing.